Dark, businessy travelers and people who have just large daily carry loads of all kinds, rejoice! The neck pack has been uh, updated. This is the new Series 2, expandable from 24 liters to 35 liters. And I do have to say, especially in this black, I quite like the new look of it. Solid daily carry organization admin pocket, which doubles as your quick access pocket. Discreet water bottle pocket that doesn't quite fit the wide top of my 750 milliliter camelback chute, but I do like that it's like discreet. Any of you who have like a water bottle that doesn't have this, it's gonna fit fine. And honestly, I'm good with just, uh, I like to be able to just grip it and rip it, so I don't zip it up anyways. 15 inch laptop compartment on the back, which has maybe a little less padding and protection than some of you are gonna want. I personally am okay with it because, you know, it's just simple. It's right back here. You throw your laptop in, you're good. You've got protection, but it's not pulled up from the bottom of the bag. It's not too tall at 19 inches. It's not a massively sort of tall bag. So anyways, they could have gone a little bit deeper on the protection here, I think. Stowable shoulder straps right back here in this decent so shoulder straps, nice padding, nice softness to them. Maybe I'd like a little more stiffness, but ultimately I don't think anybody's gonna complain about these. Actually, they have kind of a blade sort of fatter a little bit on closer to your body than at the edges, which ends up feeling nice and comfortable, but that's stowable so you can go into briefcase mode with the new side handle. The briefcase mode, by the way, works a bit better when you're not in the expansion mode. Over here, I'm not expanded. My straps are still out. This is another color, the gray. This material feels good. Tell you about that in a second. Both of these materials, but this is a little more upright. This, you get a lot of, of going sideways on you, right? Which brings us to the piece de resistance. The piece de resistance, which is this expansion capacity right here. We go from a 24 like liter chill, kind of stylish, classy little businessy daily carry. It's more than businessy, this is actually quite a nice performing material. So like if you're not super businessy and you love this look, go for it. But the expansion allows us to do the kind of thing that some of you might need from time to time, which is right underneath this flap right here, you've just got a zipper that goes all the way around the bag. Oh, I'm just gonna show it to you live. We'll do it live. Here you go. There's that expansion part right there. You see how that just zipped out? And here's what it looks like. It opens. Oh, clamshell. Okay, I've got some clothing in here. I've got plenty of space for more stuff. You can see we're looking at probably four, a solid four inches of, of, uh, of space here. Some of you just got excited. On this side, you do have a little meshy divider so you could put in your, like maybe you fold up your Oxford shirts and put them in here or something like that, by the way. Shout out to Wool and Perance. If you're wondering why Alyssa Sesti, it's because this is a linen merino something. I don't, how can it be linen and merino? I don't know. I, I don't ask I don't ask these kinds of questions. I just like to see if it looks good on me and feels good. This feels great. This is my favorite one. Link to this below. Those kinds of expensive but nice shirts that got like I like I like when it's like it's both nice and casual. Like how do you how do you do that? I'll tell you how you do it. Wool and prints. That would go right in here. Got some straps for for locking things down in here. If that's your style, I would mostly be a uh, packing cube. But look at this thing. This is their new shoe bag, which they've designed. It's got a divider in the middle. You put your shoes inside and cinch it down. Kind of nice for giving you to save a little bit of space when you're putting shoes in and keeping your junk off the rest of your bag. Fits in there perfectly. So you've got this front pocket, which now, by the way, doubles as your quick access, right? Bop, bop and then your quick access right on the top. So there's not a separate quick access compartment. I think it's kind of elegant. Might take a little getting used to. Nice organization in here. You got a meshy up front, a bunch of little like business cards, man places, all sorts of little do jobbies and things. 
I end up using pouches almost all the time, so I tend not to use this and just have like a tech pouch in there. Then you have this other compartment right here, which is like, uh, it's, it's, it's your main capacity when you're not in expansion mode, which is a nice tight little pocket, but perfect size for probably a lot of your daily carry needs, right? It does not zip down all the way. You just go three quarters of the way down and then you have this little meshy up top, meshy up top on the back, and then another zipper right here with a little felt kind of divider behind it. It's like not felt, it's, it's almost like a cheap Velcro feel. You know, they're probably not gonna <laughs> like me saying that, but it's like a cheap Velcro feel in some ways. Like meaning it's just a soft, soft kind of thing that, that, that like probably it feels very synthetic but it's probably not going anywhere. It's probably gonna be like this for a long time. That's maybe why they, they chose it, because it'll last a long time. Let's talk about this liner inside. It actually feels nice and solid. Feels like a polyester. Uh, feels like it's not gonna get dirty easily. Moisture and dirt is gonna slough right off of it. That feels good. By the way, this meshy over here does not have a zipper up top. It's just kinda smaller at the top than it is at the bottom, so. Kind of nice. Let's talk about the differences. Here is the OG, the old school one. This is a smaller version. By the way, both of these, these Series 2s, these are medium. They only have the Series 2 and medium currently. So here's the original one. You've got a pocket on the bottom, this kind of funky pocket here, quick access here, admin pocket, which ends up being your main compartment as well. Same zipper, or di different design, but you know, zipper away, water bottle compartment, laptop, the expandability, and all of it with this chunky, um, kind of canvasy, like a synthetic canvas feeling thing. Material is what I'm getting at here. Compare that to this, I really like this black one. I think this is a very sleek look, personally. Personally, it's just my opinion. But you're gonna like this material is my hunch. You're gonna like it over time. You're gonna like it when it gets wet. You're gonna like it when it has dirt and dust on it. You're gonna like, cause it's it's a very high performing material. Um, the leather down here, a little shiny. It's a little Eddie Murphy raw. Maybe it was delirious. You know, the one in the purple. They're, there's, they're, they're leather and shiny both ways. A little bit shiny and a little bit tacky to the feeling, to the touch. I may, may not go with that in the future. I don't know, but it's a, it's like a, it's like a deep, robust Napa leather. You can see that on the handles as well. So the full grain Napa leather on the handles and the bottom, and even on the expansion bit here, they've carried that through all the way. Quite a bit of work to do that. Also, you'll notice more minimal branding here. We don't, ha it doesn't say NAC anymore. It just is the KK. We're one K away from too many Ks. Do you know what I mean? but it's only two Ks, so that's okay. This new material is a custom developed 600D two-tone polyester ottoman fabric with water resistant PU treatment. It's all tested to carry loads up to 40 pounds. That's what they say. All the zippers are reverse coil YKK zips, very quality zips, nice little zip pulls. You can, you can easily grab a hold of and your zippers are lockable where applicable. Your empty weight is three pounds, not too heavy. I like this medium size, feels, feels good. And apparently compared to the original in the same size, our main compartment has a slightly larger capacity. And I don't know if they mean the expanded compartment or the compartment that's like the main compartment in daily carry mode. So, you know, take it to the forums. Okay, so my take on this. I have mentioned that I really like the updated look on these. I really do. I like this material. I really do. I think this is, is a better feeling bag than the previous one, okay? To me, and I think to a lot of you, you're gonna, you're gonna like, I can highly recommend this bag uh, because I know now that it, it, this, this version feels really good. I think they did an excellent job with these little kind of design details, keeping it unique and bespoke without being, uh, without being too cutesy wootsy, being a little more serious without the, the double like, you know, triangle, a little more serious, but like uh, not too serious. These are the words that I'm using to describe things. And it has to be said that it's actually an extremely capable bag. 
So any of you road warriors, any of you people who need an expandable but kind of classy backpack, I think you can be, you're going to be really happy with this. So the question of is this the best hybrid or minimal travel bag? No. The best is different for different people. I know some business guys who are super like, you know, they're a little more jeans but like sport coat and they travel all the time with a GORUCK GR1, right? The, even though it's like not a very businessy looking bag, they just love the one compartmentness and they have packing cubes. They can wear it when, with, when it's barely got anything in it or when it's got a bunch of stuff in it, right? I know people in the Tortuga set out laptop bag, which does not expand, but it does have the perfect amount of space, right? Or the invisible carry-on, another great, this is, this reminds me of the invisible carry-on. Invisible carry-on a little bit sleeker, a little bit more museum of modern art in some ways, right? I will link to all three of those below and to my hybrid travel bags page where I keep a track of, uh, uh, what did I say, I keep a track, where I keep a track of all the things I like, uh, my wife. <laughs> Speaking of my wife, just published a podcast episode with my wife on living on the road, you know, leaving the picket fence and going out on the road for the last three years. And we're just about to put down some roots somewhere. Follow along. Also, just about to pass 100,000 subscribers on this channel. Subscribe here on YouTube and go to matterful.co, which is where you'll find my lists of my favorite bags, daily carry, travel, all that stuff. But you've got to get on the email list there to be entered to win our giveaway, our 100,000 subscribers giveaway, which is going to be big. Last time, 75, we gave away thousands of dollars. This time, we're hoping to give away tens of thousands of dollars worth of gear. Hopefully, Knack will be a part of that. Knack are great partners of mine. Love these guys. Okay, before we go, I want you to know about United by Blue. Next time you're buying the lady something or you're buying something for the house or buying something for yourself, check out United by Blue first because they're making products out of recycled water bottles. They're cleaning up the oceans. We're united by the blue on the in the in the world, you know, the ocean. I think that's what they're getting at. They're cleaning up the oceans. I really dig these guys. They want you to know that they've got some great products. Now, from my perspective, one of the things that I have used and actually really like from these people, they have a puffy jacket with some bison insulation. And this is a very sustainable project that they've got going. Check out their jackets, guys and gals. Good stuff. Thanks to United by Blue for supporting the planet. <laughs> Use my link below and, uh, and it'll support the channel. Appreciate you all. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. How are you doing? It's rough out there. It can, can, it's rough out there. Can we keep it? Can you make it a little more? Can, like, is, is it being good like one sort of intentional way is like having a good time like one like sort of disciplined thought away could we could we think ourselves or intention ourselves into actually things aren't terrible i think we might be able to number one and i think we might have to i just don't think that the politicians are going to solve our, our problems for us it's cool we do have experts elsewhere out in the world making stuff figuring things out learning how to do stuff that like you and i would just be like that's amazing, right? We don't understand it. We need people like this, you know, experts. Thank you. They're like parents, moms and dads. But for your life, in terms of like, what are you feeding yourself for dinner? You know, mac and cheese, or if you're in Canada, craft dinner is always a solid option. Short-term gain, long-term pain. That's all I'm getting at. So maybe one disciplined thought towards positivity could make a huge difference in how, you know, not just you are feeling, but like, you know, the compounding effect of that. If a lot of us get into that, maybe it's not so bad, but maybe it's all horrible. I, I don't know. It's, it's horrible. Like, for, just so you know, like, I'm super stressed out, and we're about to get into a new place, and we're really excited about it, but at the same time, it's nerve-wracking and scary and, uh, and moving, and uh, we've been traveling for three years. Again, listen to the podcast episode. I launched the podcast, Travel Light, with Chase Reeves. You might really dig it. 
the previous episode with with James Clear, New York Times bestselling author of Atomic Habits, on how do you discover even what do you want? How do you think about what do you want in life? I'll tell you one way to be happy is go like, I would like to fill in the blank and then go do it. But you have to live with the consequences of your actions. So hopefully the thing you filled in the blank there is a beneficial thing for you. Not just like a, not something that's going to cost you a lot of reputation. Anyways, listen, we could talk for hours. I'm trying to do more of that on the podcast. So check out Travel Light. Get up at matterful.co and get on the list uh, there so that I can email you if you win something. Thanks to Knack for supporting the channel, for hanging out. Thank you for United by Blue, getting the message out, saving the world, making good shit. Saving the world, making good shit. Come on. That's a message I can get behind. I think both these companies are doing that. I think I'm trying to do that. Love you. Bye-bye.